Welcome back you guys to Brando's Collectibles. We're doing a figure review on the Dark Moon Premium Scale Bumblebee figure that I purchased from TS Source, your source for Transformers. And if you like this video, leave a like and subscribe and turn the notification bell on to all. Let's begin. Okay guys, before we get on with the review, let's check out the box art. And on the front of the box, we have a picture of Bumblebee that carries out onto the side of the box right here. Then on this side of the box, we have Transformers in silver and Bumblebee's bio in 3A. And we have the Autobot sticker right here. Let's get on with the review. There he is, guys. Let's get him on the turntable and get his accessories on the uh, table. And let's get a closer look at him. And we'll go over the gun, how to put it on um, Bobby, and his uh, bow mask. Bear with me for a minute. Okay guys, let's get a closer look of him. And then we'll do the, um, where the batteries go and um, how the parts of him, like his gun, fit onto his hand and his battle mask. So let's take a quick look at him and look at his paint work. I'm liking the weathering and I also like the, uh, the tires on him. And you got the carbon, carbon fiber spoiler that feels like carbon fiber and his doors. You know, looking at these figures, you take a look at them and wonder where all the car parts go on, on them. Kind of cool uh, space looking boots, huh, guys? We'll check out that face sculpt here in a minute. Now, let's move on to the light part of the video. Then we'll go into articulation with his figure. He has 60 uh, points of articulation and he's about 15 inches tall, you guys. Here's the part where we take and remove his hand to um, put his blaster gun on, his blaster gun. So there is a pin on the side right here that we use to remove it. I push in onto it. Then we'll add his gun. And then we'll turn the lights on and check that part out. There we go, there's the gun lit up, guys. And then we'll get his uh, chest lit up. And so we do this without messing up here. No, his eyes are not lighting up because I can't reach it with my fingers. There we go, guys. We got the lights on. And there his eyes are. And his chest all lit up, guys. 
Now the only gripe I got you guys is these little pieces on his head. They slide off really easy. These little parts right here, they slide off too easy. And then the cool feature is, is when he has his battle mask on, you can see through the battle mask. We'll go on to the articulation part of the video. Bear with me for a minute. In the parts I was talking about, you guys, where the parts that sit on top of his head, and they look like this right here. And I just wish that uh, they would be magnetic. And I wish his uh, battle mask would uh, be magnetic too. But sit on his head like that. But anyways, you guys, let's go into uh, the articulation part of the um, video, and then I'll show you guys where all the batteries go on the gun, and as well as the figure himself. So, here for we got um, posable fingers. His hands on a ball joint, so we got swivel and it turns so every anything it does on this side will do on this side the same way a swivel in his arm or shoulder rather then arm bends upward The matches. Most about hard to carry. So we end up bumping into tires and stuff, and the doors and stuff. Then on his head, put the arm down here so you guys can see it on his head. Bend him up a little bit here. There we go. And then on his head, we got a swivel onto it, tilts up and down. These old uh, parts move. Then uh, we'll pan down to the bottom portion of him to show off his uh, legs and then we'll go to the back side of him. Okay guys, there's a few things I was wanting to add to my video before we get down to the ratcheted uh, joints on his uh, legs that his arm right here that shifts up and down <clears throat> get a little better look at his head swivel and he pans up and he down and then even this um, part right here they move to and Let's turn around and look at the back side of him before we get to his ratcheted legs. Okay guys, let's see. We got these parts right here that they move. The doors. In and out. Then we pull these down and his tires, they swivel and move. And then we get up to his um, carbon fiber spoiler that those move to. Then we got a little party trick right here in his waist, right here for his for your articulation needs here. These here will move up and then reveal a ball joint where he can bend down. And then he can uh, take him to it backwards to a certain degree. Now, let's get into his uh, ratcheted legs here and the way his legs do. All right, guys. There we go. All right. His leg goes out to about here. The ratchet turn here. And right here on his knee. 
then you got the bend in the leg. It's about far as I want to put it. <clears throat> and then let's see here. Got to back up. And then toe tickulation with tilt. Tilt down with ratchet up. Then the back part of his foot will swivel for action poses. Let's see here. We also got parts right back here at move. Right here at move. Let's see. Yeah, it's about far to want to push and I'm sure when you guys get yours in hand you can push yours a little bit further but I don't want to push mine a little bit but yeah I can't wait till I get my um, Volkswagen Bumblebee um, here soon and before I forget, I was wanting to tell you guys that back here is where we put some batteries at, or um, AG1, let's see what they call those. Let me see you guys. They are the AG1X3, that's three of them. They go back here. And then this is where the amount of set goes. If I knock this uh, face mask off, I just want to show you guys real quick. So I'm gonna do this one handedly. There's a set of batteries that I was talking about. Then, same amount, uh, three of them go underneath here. Too. Well guys, uh, I think this will wrap up my review of Ball Beef and the Dark Moon. See you guys in the next one. Later.